Hello everyone. So the uh, May 2016 monthly recap just came out and I thought I'd make a video on my impressions and uh, my thoughts on this recap. Um, so it looks like they're uh, f finishing the vehicles and working on the vehicles as you can see animations for turning the uh, steering wheel. Very important stuff. Very important stuff. Um, yeah. So the emplacement milestone has been hit. So they're looking to bring vehicles in A7. So very excited to see that so probably next month or the month after that we'll probably see the first iteration of vehicles uh, being um, released so apparently they're gonna be releasing the Humvee the Logi truck for both INS and uh, or no just the US Logi truck a technical a BTR oh yeah and the Logi truck for Russians so yeah, really excited to see this. The, these models look really clean, and I can't wait to see how uh, vehicles will affect gameplay. So yeah, there's the technical. Pretty cool stuff, really cool stuff. And then the BTRs, I'm excited to see. All the animation work. Very cool, very cool stuff. Um, apartment blocks. So I actually got to look at these um, very briefly. And they're like 15, not 15, but maybe like 10 story buildings. So it'll be really cool to experience like uh, combat in these buildings with these uh, the CQB combat in multi-level uh, buildings. Because even the buildings on a uh, hilltop, those are fun to breach and fun to play with. I really like the indoor um, battles um, as because they're so much different than the uh, long range kind of in the open fights that you have. Looks like you can even go on the roof. So that's that's pretty exciting stuff. And it's it's cool to see that they're adding like assets inside of these rooms. Like it's not just an empty room. They have like stuff inside the rooms. Um looks like they're uh the, looks like the SKS is in game, actually. Um I'm not sure if they're releasing it. I don't think they're release releasing it. I think they're just uh, letting us know that they're working on an SKS for militia. Um as well as the PPSH. So expect this weapon to be in a future alpha version. Yeah, so this might be coming out um, in V8, I think. Something like that. Once again, another weapon. New pistol. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Um, once again, their, their, their new map, uh, Yehorivka, is uh, being worked on. It's really nice to see a really open map. Like, this map has very little foliage, it looks like. It's going to be very open. So it's going to be interesting to see how uh, a map with mostly open areas is going to play. Yeah, it just seems pretty flat all around. So I'm really excited to see uh, that stuff. Modding community. Um, so they soft launched the uh, SDK last month. And so I, I know a lot of people have been, like, cranking out work on uh, the modding stuff. It's like Xeno and Mitsu. Are in charge of the uh, modding scene, really. And yeah, some really cool stuff has been made. We even have a couple cool uh, mappers and modders for squad ops. So we'll, you'll see a couple exclusive stuff for uh, squad ops first. So that's really cool to see these uh, maps being made like by the community. So yeah, that's it for this recap. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, I'd say the highlights of this are that we're to expect not just one set of vehicles, <clears throat> like the Humvees or the Technicals, but like a whole bunch of vehicles for uh, V7. So like the Humvee, the Logi trucks, um, the Technicals, the BTRs. So I, I'm really excited to see these in game. Um, and it's cool to note that they're coming next alpha patch. So I'd say maybe expect them around next month or the month after that. Uh, you know, hoping everything turns out well. But yeah, that's the uh, May monthly recap. Um, I'm glad you guys stopped by. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.